how do you define a person who is fat? Huh. I mean, I don't think you'd want to define, put people in boxes like that, right? I mean, you can, you can tell where people are when they're at a healthy body weight or okay. at an unhealthy body weight. But does it necessarily mean in terms of a body shape? Because sometimes somebody, somebody who is like who looks bigger yeah still is really fit very active yeah. very out there can equally like stand up in terms of stamina yeah. next to yeah. you a lot of times fit and healthy should correlate but a lot of times it does not correlate so you could be really fit but from a health standpoint if you look at like blood sugar blood cholesterol you see so you might be able to perform great physical feats but that does not mean on, in your health biomarkers are are doing good. well, right? Mm. And so it's a misconception that someone that has a that has a good body is healthy. A lot of times it does correlate, correlate, but it's not always going to correlate, right? And so I think really there is a couple of things you want to. What we do know is like fat or body fat is inflammatory, mm. and so the more fat you have on your body, the more inflammation is present in the body, right? And so a lot of the diseases that we see pop up, uh, like uh, the metabolic diseases, like blood sugar, you know, diabetes, cholesterol, blood pressure, all that stuff, is mostly present when people have a lot of excess fat in the body. The more muscle you have, uh, the less likely you are to have that inflammation and those things coming through. So there is a little bit of a correlation, but then you always want to check both body composition and health biomarkers regularly. But even the person who is the fittest, who looks the sharpest, can just fall dead. 100%, you see it happen all the time. I know, and that's yeah. what's more scary.